Welcome back to Manga Tuesday episode 108. I'm DRC and today we will be reviewing an iconic piece of manga history. We shall be reviewing Fairy Tale. The Tale of Fairies. Da -da 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 -da. Fairy Tale is an iconic shonen manga that paved the way for many of the biggest mangas that you probably know of today. Fairy Tale is your favourite mangaka's favourite manga. It laid the foundation for the likes of One Piece that wouldn't exist, dare I say, if it weren't for Fairy Tale. Would we have a Naruto if it wasn't for the groundwork laid out by Fairy Tale? Would we have a Dragon Ball if it wasn't for the impact and influence that Fairy Tale had on the shonen genre and on manga as a whole? The answer is no. Once upon a time, there was a fairy tale. And then many eons later, there was a bunch of other manga that kind of copied the formula that Fairy Tale laid down so Affectionately, Fairy Tale is the foundation that so many heavy hitters, so many of the top selling mangas all relied on as inspiration and they built themselves off the back of Fairy Tale. So, historically speaking, us, all of us as manga fans, owe a great deal of debt and gratitude to Fairy Tale and to the mangaka of fairy tale are uh, Hiro Mashimo. He's a hero. That's an understatement. Fairy tale was truly groundbreaking. It shattered the ground upon which people walked and they just fell to their deaths in despair. Oh, who broke the ground above it? Ah, it was fairy tale that broke that ground. Just flicking through, they've already said the words fairy tale about 15 times in the first, you know, few pages. So they want to hammer the point home. This is fairy tale. It's in your face. You can't escape fairy tale. And we should never try to escape fairy tale. It is uh, arguably the greatest manga of all time. I think it's ranked number two on Mal in the manga section. And... Honestly, the only reason it's not number one is because the creator of Berserk died, so people thought they had to give it as a 10 just to be nice. But, you know, maybe someday when our hero dies, people will realise the truth and Fairy Tale will take that uh, number one spot on the <coughs> My Anime List manga rankings. But a number two spot is still appropriate because this is the shit, man. It's the bomb, bro. It's, as the kids say, it's peak fiction. It's the opposite of mid. Also, anyone that disagrees is wrong and stupid, and I hate them, and I hope they die a lonely, sad, miserable death. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, this guy's the main character. His name's Fairy, and this is a tale of his escapades. This is his trusted companion, Chopper, and this is a hot female side protagonist person that's important to the story. Also, I'm pretty sure Hero has a foot fetish, so that could be a positive or a negative depending on what kind of person you are well, anyway my camera's about to run out of battery so i just have to wrap things up for a rating i would give fairy tale a 10 out of 10 because what more could be said about something so perfect to put it into words would be difficult to do for someone you would need to be capable of formulating thoughts and reviewing things and Anyway, that's pretty much sums things up, so thanks for watching, and as always, let justice be done, though the heavens fall. It's just another Tuesday.
Actually, that's not an attack. 